It's a rare thing when a PG-13 horror movie actually stands out for its ability to evoke fear. These eight movies prove that films can be truly scary even with a PG-13 rating. IT director Andy Muschietti proved his mettle with Mama, a supernatural horror that pours on shocks and shivers thanks to plenty of face time with its titular twisted monster. Given its child protagonists, Mama keeps the language clean and the violence more suggested than seen. Instead, the attention is all on atmosphere and dread, and eventually, grief. <laughs> Writer-director Frank LaLoja's low-budget indie ghost tale features young Lucas Haas as a boy who encounters the ghost of a little girl and then tries to solve her murder so that she can find peace in the afterlife. This gore-free film reclaims the horror movie for adults looking for a good scare, though it has moments that could even give adults a jolt. Unlike many found footage horror movies, The Last Exorcism actually excels when it's not trying to scare you. Its protagonist is the phony creature who cried wolf, thinking he's about to stage another exorcism when this time it's the real thing. The movie gets a lot of mileage out of the tense juxtaposition between his hamminess and the demonic situation he's actually stumbling into. We're gonna go now. We're gonna get you in the car. <laughs> Though it was met with a mixed reception, Cloverfield is a remarkably polished movie that holds together as the fake artifact that it pretends to be, but it's also intensely frightening with its ground-level look at the terror of a giant creature feature. It's a breathless movie impeccably crafted to give viewers the sense of running for their lives in a place where any safety is temporary. <laughs> Before M. Night Shyamalan devolved into hysterical self-parody, he proved himself to be a master of mood, tension, and atmosphere with The Sixth Sense. Nearly everything about it has been reproduced to the point that it's kitschy, but The Sixth Sense proved it was possible to make a genuinely terrifying film with little actual violence or profanity. The story of a mousy loan officer with an inescapable curse. Sam Raimi's Drag Me to Hell is every bit as batshit as his early cult hit, Evil Dead 2. But here, he replaces copious amounts of blood with a breakneck intensity. Even without the gore, horror set pieces like the parking lot sequence maintain Raimi's style of slapstick horror. Oh. For a lot of American filmgoers, The Ring served as the first mainstream, accessible look at J-horror, effectively delivering the genre's tropes like dripping wet ghosts and unsettling erratic movements. Gore of Rubinsky's film moves briskly, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats. It has its share of jump cuts and sudden shocks, but it's most effective at evoking breathless, choking dread. Alejandro Amenabar's The Others is a superb throwback to classic haunted house movies that features one of Nicole Kidman's best performances. Using a dark, ornate mansion as a primary setting, the film effectively exploits every shadow and floor creak it can muster without getting over the top. It's an eerie, restrained lesson in horror fundamentals. Don't speak to them! Why? They're dead! What? This has been the AV Club's inventory of eight truly scary PG-13 horror movies. If you've ever been freaked out by a horror flick that wasn't rated R, head to the comments and tell us which movies kept you up at night. Thanks for watching with the AV Club! For interviews, lists, and more, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our other videos.